guys and welcome back to my channel. We're here for another dollar store DIY. Most of the items that I purchased are from the dollar store with the exception of this E6000 glue and this Rust-Oleum spray paint which I got from Joann's for $10.99 using a 50% off coupon. I'm only going to spray the bottom of each glass item and then I'll use the E6000 to glue it all together. You'll see that there's a black candle holder in the back and that's because I ran out of the clear and I don't mind painting over the black. Hopefully it won't distort the project too much. Now because the candle holder is black, I'm going to have to give it an extra coat. And because it's a little windy that a lot of my paint is actually, if you can see it on camera, is blowing off to the side. So I'm actually going to let this dry for about an hour outside in a well-ventilated area. And then I'll come back and take a look at it. And then I'll let you know if we're going to do another coating. Okay guys, we're back and everything is dried. Um, I just did one coat on the plate and the bowl here although the bowl actually looks a little bit darker as if I did two coats and the stand didn't come out how I wanted it after doing two coats but I'm okay with it as it is for the video I have my E6000 over here ready and generally when I'm doing a tiered I'll start off with a plate first and then I will use a stand you can use it either way up or down but I am going to elevate my um, two-tiered display, starting off with the ball. So I am going to apply my E6000 generously around the bottom here. And then I'm also going to use some in the center of my bowl. And my E6000 seems to... I want to go in slow mode today. Have to use a little bit of extra elbow grease. And I like some in the middle. Somewhere around the end. And then I am just going to center my plate. There's no measurement, so I'm just going to center my plate on the top using the eyeball method. Applying some pressure as you can see here. Just a little pressure, not enough to break it, but just a little pressure. And so for the stand, you can do it two ways. You can either have it upside down and center it. That way you can cut into a doily and put a doily around it. Or you can do it like I'm gonna do it today and just have it in the center and then I'll place the plate on top. So with this, that should be good. I am going to apply E6000 on the rim, which is still black and I'm okay with it. Just a nice generous amount. And this is the clear E6000. There is a black one um, that some people use, but I am using the clear one so that it doesn't come up. And then again, another eyeball method. And a good thing about this is that it has a circle on the inside that you can pretty much use to gauge and again some pressure there let it set not hard enough for it to break but just so that it can set set in just a little pressure there you'll give it some time i'm actually going to let this sit about 24 hours after i actually complete this project and then we'll just keep going on to the stand, the top of the stand. Um, I scratched it a little. It actually fell over in the wind outside. 
if you remember me saying that it was a little windy. Okay, and then also again, eyeballing. Eyeballing my placement. I think I did pretty good. Just gonna give it a little press because I don't want to change where it is on the bottom of here. And I may even go around this a little bit later on, like in a couple of hours. I may even go around the outside of it with some more glue just to um, secure it. Now, so here's the finished product, actually, two-tiered, all glued up. And so what I um, will do with this is either, if I'm using it as a cupcake stand, I will put cupcakes down here um, as a decor, or I could use some flowers or some other type of decor, some lace, some tulle, whatever else I'm gonna have. And then I'll probably place a dually up here if I'm using it for cupcakes. Otherwise, I'll just put some jewelry on it and I will show you my three tiered stand that I actually made that I use for um, jewelry at the end of the video. I'll give you a shot, but this is it. Let me know how you like it. If you've made one, let me know what you've used it for. Until next time, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button down below and stay tuned for more videos.